Welcome back to my video series where I teach you how to fly an FPV freestyle racing acro drone, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to teach you how to fly it. This video is one in a series. So if it feels like you've dropped in in the middle of a conversation, that's why there is a link in the video description below to the full playlist for the whole series. And if you're looking to learn from be the beginning, that's where you should start. But if you're here for the topic of today's video, then Let's get into it. In the previous lesson, you use the throttle to take off and climb to a certain altitude and then adjust the throttle to hover at that altitude. In this lesson, we're going to add the pitch stick, which is the right stick. We're going to push that forward and we're going to begin to move forward. So what I want you to do is repeat the previous lesson, climb to approximately the level of the treetops. So the treetops are roughly centered in the screen and then push the right stick forward very slightly to pitch the quad forward. The, that is the pitch axis, which is the front to back axis, and the right stick pushed forward and back controls the pitch axis. We'll raise the throttle, climb, establish that hover at a certain altitude, and then pitch forward, and the quad will begin to move forward. Now, a couple notes before you proceed. Number one, your hover probably isn't going to be as precise as mine. I'm not, that's not me bragging. It's just acknowledging that I've been doing this for years. And if you're watching these videos, you probably haven't. You don't need to have a perfect hover in order to proceed with this drill. It's up to you when you decide to move on to the next drill. And when you don't, this is completely self-paced. But you do want to be able to sort of roughly have some control of your altitude. I would say if you can hold your altitude within about a 20 meter window, then you're probably good to go. And if you can hold your altitude within like a five meter window, you might be doing better than me. The next thing I wanna point out is that when you pitch forward, take a look at the stick overlay on screen and notice that I just nudge the stick forward and then recenter it. The stick is spring loaded, so it will tend to recenter itself. If you are used to flying a DJI style of drone, you may be used to holding the stick forward in order to fly forward. And what happens if you do that with an acro drone is this. And you end up in the ground. The way an acro drone works is that when you deflect the stick, it causes the drone to rotate. And the rotation of the drone changes the direction of the thrust and that causes the drone to move. But you are always inputting rotational commands, not positional commands. With the DJI style drone, the drone knows its position in space based on GPS coordinates and other sensors. And when you move the stick, you are telling the drone to change its position in space, move to point B or move forward. But with an acro drone, you are telling the drone to rotate, which changes the thrust vector, which causes the drone to move. I'm actually going to hit the B key here and we can look at the drone from the outside and I can raise the throttle and the drone will begin to take off. And now if I push the stick forward, you'll see it rotates forward and begins to fly. Okay. And if I continue to hold the stick forward, it will continue to rotate until it crashes. And it's by manipulating that rotation that we manipulate what the drone does and we control how it's flying and where it's flying. What I'm going to do is take off I'm just going to give a very gentle push forward and the drone will begin to move forward. And notice what else the drone is doing. What's happening to my altitude right now? You see that I'm descending. Let's try that again. Did I move the throttle? Let's try to uh, establish a very, very precise hover where I'm neither climbing nor descending. And now I'm going to pitch forward. What's happening to my altitude? I'm descending. But I didn't move the throttle at all. What's happened there is that when I am perfectly flat and level, all of my thrust is pushing down and all of my thrust is being used to hold me in the air. When I pitch forward, some of my thrust is now pushing backward. And that means that less of my thrust is pushing down. Some of my thrust is now pushing me forward. Less of it is pushing me down and therefore I will begin to descend. So as you pitch forward, you also need to adjust throttle to maintain your altitude. In fact, you need to increase throttle. So I'm gonna climb to altitude 
I'm going to pitch forward and the drone will begin to descend. And I'm going to then raise throttle just a little bit to continue to maintain altitude. I'm going to find that new throttle position where now I am moving forward and I'm holding my altitude as I move forward. And we're just going to do that and then we're going to fly right off the edge of the map, reset and do it again. And what you can try to do just to make things interesting is you can try to adjust your altitude to fly right over the top of these trees. So I'm going to climb, I'm going to pitch forward, I'm going to begin moving forward and descending. I'm going to raise alt raise throttle to climb and I'm going to adjust that throttle to climb right over the top of these trees. Now another mistake that beginners commonly make is putting in too much of an input. For example, if I make too big or too long of an input with my pitch stick, I'm going to end up like this and I'm going to end up going very fast. And that is going to be very hard to control. So don't do that. If I could give one piece of advice to everyone learning to fly, it would be make much, much smaller inputs. Don't go uh, 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 uh with your throttle. Make tiny little corrections, slow corrections. Make little corrections. And if I need to put in a pitch input, make a small and slow pitch input and give yourself time to react because everybody wants to ah do crazy acro freestyle amazing stuff and that will come but you have to be able to do the slow stuff first and then you can do the fast stuff well i mean that's my take on it okay here is sort of the final exam for today's exercise we're going to take off and we're going to hover close to the ground like maybe at the top of the the hay bales and then we're going to pitch forward and begin moving forward and adjust our throttle. We don't want to bounce off the ground. We want to adjust throttle so we continue to fly forward. And as we fly forward, we will raise throttle and climb over these trees. And then as we pass over the trees, we will lower throttle to descend back down to ground level and continue flying at ground level. Hover at approximately the level of the hay bales. Pitch forward just a little and recenter the stick. Continue to adjust throttle. Raise throttle to climb over the trees. Lower throttle to descend. Don't overdo it. A common mistake would be to just drop throttle entirely and then ah, bounce off the ground. Make small movements and small, small inputs. There we go. Raise that throttle. Climb over the trees. Lower the throttle just enough that you begin to descend. As soon as you start seeing yourself begin to descend, that's the correct throttle position. And then as we get close to the ground, we will raise throttle again to arrest the descent. And the game will say we're out of bounds and reset us. And that's fine. That's going to bring us to the end of today's exercise. There's a link in the video description below to a playlist with all of the exercises in it. And I'll put a card on screen with a link to that playlist as well. I'll see you in the next one.